Hey everybody, I'm thrilled to have you join us today because we have an exciting episode lined up for you. Today we're going to tackle one of the most fundamental commands you can teach your dog how to sit. This command is not only essential for good behavior, but also serves as the cornerstone for more advanced training. Teaching your dog to sit is not just about good manners, it's about building a solid foundation for all sorts of other awesome tricks and behaviors. When your dog masters the sit command, it opens up a world of possibilities for further training and strengthens the bond between you and your furry friend. Now before we jump in, remember every dog is unique and learns at their own pace. Some dogs might pick up the sit command quickly, while others may take a bit more time. It's important to be patient and understanding throughout the process. Don't get discouraged if your furry friend doesn't nail it on the first try. Training is a journey, and every small step forward is a victory. Celebrate the progress, no matter how small, and keep a positive attitude. Just like us, dogs need time to process information and make those connections. Think of it as learning a new language. It takes practice and repetition. Your dog is trying their best to understand what you want from them, so give them the time they need. Patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement are key. Reward your dog with treats, praise, and affection when they get it right. This will motivate them to keep trying and make the training experience enjoyable for both of you. We'll be breaking down the process into easy-to-follow steps, so whether you're a seasoned dog parent or a brand new puppy owner, you can follow along with confidence. Each step is designed to be simple and effective, ensuring that you and your dog can succeed together. We're going to cover everything from finding the right environment to phasing out treats and even adding hand signals. The environment you choose for training can make a big difference. A quiet, distraction-free area is ideal for helping your dog focus. So, grab some tasty treats that your dog goes crazy for, a clicker if you use one, and let's get started. Treats are a great way to reward your dog and keep them motivated. If you use a clicker, it can help mark the exact moment your dog gets it right, making the training clearer for them. Before we dive into the actual training, let's talk a bit about the importance of consistency. Consistency in your commands, rewards, and training schedule will help your dog understand what is expected of them. Try to use the same word and hand signal every time you ask your dog to sit. This will help them make the connection faster. Another crucial aspect is timing. The timing of your rewards and corrections can significantly impact your dog's learning process. Reward your dog immediately when they perform the desired behavior. This helps them understand that they did something right. If you wait too long, they might not make the connection between the command and the reward. Involving the whole family in the training process can also be beneficial. This ensures that everyone is on the same page and uses the same commands and techniques. It also helps your dog learn to respond to different people, which can be very useful in various situations. Once your dog has mastered the sit command at home, it's time to practice in different environments. This helps your dog generalize the command and respond to it, no matter where they are. Start with quiet places and gradually move to more distracting environments like parks or busy streets. Training with distractions is an advanced step, but it's essential for real-world obedience. Your dog needs to learn to focus on you even when there are other dogs, people, or noises around. This can be challenging, but with patience and practice, your dog will get there. You can also use toys as rewards if your dog is more motivated by play than treats. Some dogs respond better to a favorite toy or a game of fetch. Find out what motivates your dog the most and use it to your advantage. Don't forget to practice in different weather conditions as well. Your dog should be able to respond to commands whether it's sunny, raining, or even snowing. This ensures that your dog is well-trained and obedient in any situation. If possible, join a group training class. This provides a controlled environment with other dogs and owners, which can be very beneficial for socialization and learning to follow commands around other dogs. Remember, the goal is to make training a fun and rewarding experience for both you and your dog. Celebrate your successes, no matter how small, and enjoy the journey of learning and growing together. With patience, consistency, and positive reinforcement, you'll be amazed at what your dog can achieve. So let's get started on this exciting journey of teaching your dog to sit. Stay tuned, follow along, and let's make this a fun and rewarding experience for both you and your furry friend. Happy training. All right, step one to setting your dog up for success is finding the right training environment. You wanna start somewhere calm and quiet with minimal distractions. 
This could be your living room, a quiet corner of your backyard, or even a hallway in your house. The key is to choose a familiar spot where your dog feels comfortable and relaxed. Avoid places with lots of foot traffic, loud noises, or other animals running around. Remember, we want your dog's focus entirely on you and learning this new command. Think of it like this. You wouldn't want to learn algebra at a rock concert, right? It's the same for your dog. A calm environment helps them focus and learn much faster. So take a moment, look around your house and pick out the perfect training spot. Once you've got your quiet zone, we can move on to the fun part, using treats to lure your dog into the sit. All right, let's talk treats. Choosing the right treat is crucial for successful training. You want something small, easy to eat, and most importantly, irresistible to your dog. Think about what your dog goes absolutely bonkers for. Is it little pieces of chicken, small cheese cubes, maybe those tiny hot dog bits? Whatever gets your dog's tail wagging, that's your winning ticket. Avoid using their regular kibble for training, especially in the beginning. We want to make this a super exciting and rewarding experience, and those high-value treats are the key. Remember, the goal is to use the treat as a lure to guide your dog into the sit position. So pick something they can easily smell and follow, and let's get ready to lure. All right, so you've got your dog's attention with that tasty treat, and you're luring them upwards. As their nose follows that treat, their rear end is gonna start heading towards the ground. This is key, right as their butt makes contact, that's your cue. Say the command sit in a clear, confident voice. We're not talking about yelling, just a firm, distinct sit. Think of it like this, you're communicating with your dog, not reprimanding them. Clarity is key. Now here's where people mess up. They say sit, 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 resist the urge. One sit is all you need. We don't wanna overwhelm our furry friends. They're learning a new word and associating it with this action. Keep it simple. Remember, we're building positive associations here. So, sit the moment their bum hits the floor and then get ready for that reward because they've earned it. Okay, your dog's bottom just hit the ground. You've said sit, now comes the best part, the reward. Timing is everything here. You want to give that treat the instant they've completed the action. Think of it like a positive reinforcement superpower. That immediate reward creates a strong connection in your dog's brain between the action of sitting and the awesome feeling of getting a treat. We're not just talking about a physical reward here though. Yes, the treat is great, but pair that with some verbal praise. A happy good sit or yes, good job goes a long way. Remember, we're building a positive learning experience. We want our dogs to enjoy the process and feel good about getting it right. That's how you build a lasting love of learning. We've got the lure, the command, the reward. Now it's time to repeat. Repetition is key when it comes to dog training. Think of it like learning a new language. It takes practice. But here's the thing. We don't want to overload our pups with information. Instead of one long training session, aim for several short and sweet sessions throughout the day. Five to 10 minutes at a time is perfect. Dogs learn best when they're engaged and excited and short bursts of training help maintain their focus. Plus, it fits easily into your day. A quick session before breakfast, another one after lunch, maybe one before bed. You get the idea. Remember, consistency is key. Those short frequent bursts of training will do wonders for your dog's progress. All right, so your dog's getting the hang of sit awesome job. It's always exciting to see your furry friend learning new commands and responding well. This is a big step in building a strong bond and establishing good behavior. Now, we don't want them thinking they'll get a treat every single time. While treats are great for initial training, we need to ensure that your dog listens to you because they respect and trust you, not just because they expect a snack. We want them to listen because you said so, not just for the snack. This is crucial for their overall obedience and your relationship with them. Imagine a scenario where you need your dog to respond quickly in a potentially dangerous situation. You want them to act because they understand the importance of your command. Don't get me wrong, treats are awesome motivators, especially in the beginning. They help to capture your dog's attention and make learning new commands fun and rewarding. However, relying solely on treats can create a dependency that we want to avoid. 
but we want to shift that focus to you. Your dog should see you as the ultimate source of guidance and reward. This shift in focus will help in creating a more balanced and respectful relationship. Think of it like this. You're teaching your dog the value of listening to you. It's about building trust and understanding. When your dog listens to you without expecting a treat, it shows that they respect your authority and are eager to please you. That focus and connection are way more rewarding in the long run than a pocket full of treats. The bond you create through mutual respect and understanding is invaluable. It's about creating a relationship where your dog feels secure and confident in following your lead. Plus, it's healthier for your pup in the long term. Excessive treats can lead to weight gain and other health issues. By reducing treat dependency, you're also promoting a healthier lifestyle for your dog. So, how do we ditch the treat dependency? It's a gradual process that requires patience and consistency. You don't want to abruptly stop giving treats, as this can confuse your dog and hinder their progress. We're going to start phasing them out. This means slowly reducing the frequency of treats while increasing other forms of rewards like praise, petting, and playtime. Your dog sits, you give them a treat. This reinforces the behavior and helps them understand what you expect from them. The next time they sit, just praise and pets. This shows your dog that your approval and affection are just as valuable as treats. They'll start to understand that sit doesn't always equal a treat, but it always equals your happiness and attention, which is what we're going for. Your dog will learn to value your praise and seek it out as a reward, but it always equals your happiness and attention, which is what we're going for. This helps in building a stronger bond and ensures that your dog is motivated by your approval rather than just treats. Remember, this is a gradual process. It's important to be patient and consistent. Your dog needs time to adjust to the new system and understand that your praise and attention are just as rewarding as treats. Don't go cold turkey on the treats. Abruptly stopping treats can confuse your dog and make them less motivated to follow commands. Gradually reducing treats while increasing other forms of rewards is the key. You want to keep your dog motivated and learning. This means finding a balance between treats and other rewards. As your dog becomes more confident in their training, you can slowly reduce the frequency of treats. The key is to find that sweet spot where you're phasing out treats while still keeping the training fun and engaging. Training should always be a positive experience for your dog. By using a combination of treats, praise, and play, you can keep your dog motivated and eager to learn. Incorporate playtime as a reward. Dogs love to play, and incorporating playtime into your training sessions can be a great way to reward your dog without relying on treats. This also helps in building a stronger bond and making training sessions more enjoyable. Verbal praise is powerful. Your dog loves to hear your voice and knows when you're happy with them. Use a cheerful tone and lots of enthusiasm to let your dog know they've done a great job. Physical affection goes a long way. Petting, belly rubs, and cuddles are all great ways to reward your dog. These forms of affection help to strengthen your bond and show your dog that you appreciate their good behavior. Consistency is key. Make sure to consistently reward your dog for good behavior, whether it's with treats, praise, or affection. This helps to reinforce the behavior and ensures that your dog understands what is expected of them. Enjoy the journey. Training your dog is a journey that requires patience, consistency, and lots of love. Celebrate the small victories and enjoy the process of building a strong, trusting relationship with your furry friend. Remember, the goal is to create a balanced relationship where your dog listens to you out of respect and love, not just for treats. By gradually phasing out treats and focusing on other forms of rewards, you can achieve this goal and enjoy a happy, well-behaved dog. Keep up the great work. Your dedication and effort are paying off. With patience and consistency, you'll see amazing results and build a strong, lasting bond with your dog. Celebrate your successes. Every small step forward is a victory. Take the time to celebrate your dog's progress and enjoy the journey together. Training is a lifelong process. Even after your dog has mastered the basics, continue to reinforce good behavior and enjoy the process of learning and growing together. The bond you create through training is priceless. It's about more than just commands. It's about building a relationship based on trust, respect, and love. Enjoy every moment of this journey with your furry friend. Thank you for watching and happy training. Remember, the journey is just as important as the destination. Enjoy every step of the way with your loyal companion. Okay, your dog's becoming a pro at sit. Now let's take it beyond those training sessions and make it a part of your everyday routine. This is where the real magic happens. 
your dog starts to understand that sit isn't just a game you play, it's a way of life. Think about all those little moments throughout the day, before you put down their food bowl, before you clip on their leash for a walk, even before you toss their favorite toy. These are all golden opportunities to reinforce that sit command. All right, your dog's a sit superstar at home, but now it's time to test those skills in the real world. We wanna make sure they can nail that sit anywhere, anytime, no matter the distractions. Think of it like this. Practicing sit in your living room is like learning a new language from a textbook. It's a great start, but eventually, you wanna go out and have a conversation with a native speaker, right? Same goes for your dog. They need to experience sit in different environments to truly master the command. All right, let's talk about something super important, positive reinforcement. This is a method that not only helps in training your dog, but also strengthens the bond between you and your furry friend. It's a win-win situation for both the trainer and the trainee. Positive reinforcement is the key to successful dog training, especially when teaching a fundamental command like sit. When you use positive reinforcement, you are essentially communicating to your dog that good things happen when they follow your commands. This makes them more likely to repeat the behavior in the future. You might be tempted to use punishment when your dog doesn't get it right, but trust me, it's not the way to go. Punishment can lead to confusion and fear, which are counterproductive to the learning process. Instead of understanding what they did wrong, dogs often become anxious and stressed. Dogs don't learn effectively from punishment. In fact, it can create a host of problems, including fear and anxiety. When a dog is scared, they are less likely to learn and more likely to develop behavioral issues. This is why it's crucial to focus on positive reinforcement. It can create fear and anxiety and actually damage the bond you're building with your furry friend. The relationship between you and your dog should be built on trust and mutual respect. Positive reinforcement helps to foster this kind of relationship. We want our dogs to enjoy training and see it as a fun bonding experience. When training is enjoyable, dogs are more engaged and willing to participate. This makes the learning process faster and more effective. That's how they learn best. Dogs are naturally eager to please their owners, and when they see that their actions result in positive outcomes, they are more motivated to learn and obey commands. Positive reinforcement means we focus on rewarding the behaviors we like. This could be in the form of treats, praise, or even playtime. The key is to make sure the reward is something your dog truly enjoys. When your dog sits on command, that's when the magic happens. This is the moment to shower them with rewards and let them know they did a great job. The more immediate the reward, the better the association your dog will make between the command and the positive outcome. Give them a treat they love, shower them with praise, and let them know how proud you are. Your enthusiasm and positive energy will be contagious, making your dog even more excited to learn and let them know how proud you are. This not only reinforces the behavior, but also strengthens the emotional bond between you and your dog. A dog that feels loved and appreciated is more likely to be obedient and well-behaved. Remember, we're building a positive association with the sit command. The goal is for your dog to associate sitting with good things happening. This makes them more likely to sit on command in the future. We want your dog to think sitting equals awesome things. This mindset will make training sessions more effective and enjoyable for both you and your dog. That's how you'll see real progress and a happy, eager to please pup. Positive reinforcement is not just a training technique, it's a way to build a loving and trusting relationship with your dog. So next time you're training, remember to focus on the positive and watch your dog thrive. One of the most important things to remember when you're teaching your dog anything new is that patience is key. And I mean it. Every dog learns at their own pace. Some dogs might pick up sit in a flash while others might need a little more time and practice. Just like us humans, dogs have different learning styles and personalities. Some are naturally eager to please and will be sitting pretty in no time. Others might be a little more independent or easily distracted. That's okay. All right guys, so your dog's got the sit command down pat using your voice. Awesome. Now let's take it up a notch and add a hand signal. 
You see, dogs are incredibly receptive to body language, sometimes even more so than verbal commands. Think about it. When we humans communicate, we use a lot of hand gestures, right? Dogs pick up on these cues naturally. Adding a hand signal to the sit command just gives your pup another clear signal to understand what you want. Okay, so your dog's a pro at sitting on command. That's fantastic. But can they hold that sit? Duration training is all about building your dog's patience and impulse control. The goal here is to gradually increase the amount of time your dog can hold the sit before you release them with a okay or free. And there you have it, folks. You've now got all the tools you need to teach your dog the incredibly valuable sit command. Remember, Consistency, patience, and positive reinforcement are the name of the game. Keep those training sessions fun and engaging, celebrate the small victories, and most importantly, enjoy the journey of building an even stronger bond with your furry best friend. Remember to subscribe for more awesome dog training tips and tricks, and I'll see you in the next video.